हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम सुनील कुमार केंद्रीय विद्यालय सेक्टर एट आर के पुरम लेट मी टेक यू टू द फर्स्ट एपिसोड ऑफ बिजनेस स्टडीज क्लास ट्वेल्थ स्टैंडर्ड टुडे विल स्टडी द फर्स्ट चैप्टर मैनेजमेंट इट्स नेचर एंड सिग्निफिकेंस You must be thinking, what is management? Management is a process of planning, organizing, staffing, directing, and controlling all the activities of the business organization, so as to help the organization in the achievement of its organizational objectives. It is an activity where a group of people are working. They must be working differently. They are from different backgrounds. The religion is different. So it is only management. which can correlate and coordinate the activities of all these diverse people you may be thinking that management is only required in business organizations but let me tell you it is not only required in business organizations it is also required in social and religious organizations you talk of temple mosques hospitals churches schools colleges or any business organization everywhere you will find the management students after getting the meaning of management let we have an expert definition mr kritna one of the expert in the field of management has defined management is the process of working with and through others to achieve organizational objectives by efficiently using limited resources in the changing environment so with the help of this definition it is very much clear that the old concept of taking the work from the people is gone now we all the manager and the workers need to work together and only then will be able to achieve what we would like to achieve only management can help in bringing the efficiency and effectiveness efficiency means bringing down the cost and increasing the profitability effectiveness means completing the task on time and it is only the management which can help in achieving efficiency and effectiveness both students let we have now features of management the very first feature of management is it is a goal directed process the goals of business organization should be simple and clearly stated an organization may be having so many goals but it has to quantify it say in a particular year a business organization has earned 100% profits and the organization would like to increase it to 150% the management has to make it clear to all the employees working in the organization that in this particular year we are going to achieve that much amount of profits so once the employees are clear the managers are clear the top level management is clear only then they will be able to achieve what they would like to achieve when the goals are simply and clearly stated the employees will be keeping all the things in their minds and they will be giving their level best the second feature of management that it is all pervasive the activities of management is common to all organizations whether economic social or political as i mentioned earlier that management is required nowadays in all the spheres of life in a business organization we are having three levels of management the lower level of management the middle level of management and the top level of management management is the only thing which is required at all the three levels of management now next feature we have it is a continuous process the process of management is a series of continuous composite but separate functions performed by managers all the time it's not like once the planning is done then everything is done no we have to go for organizing the activities we have to organize the physical and human resources we have to employ the competent people by going for the recruitment selection training and then remuneration we have to direct them we have to supervise them we have to provide them able leadership we have to communicate each and everything to them and only then 
we will be able to achieve our organizational objectives. Students, now we have next feature. Management is a group activity. To fulfill the common organizational goals, teamwork and coordination of individual efforts is required. The time has gone when we were thinking a person who is very hardworking, very intelligent and will be able to take the organization to the new heights. Then my dear friends, you are wrong. Now, there is a totally changed concept that management is a group activity and can never ever be played alone. When so many individuals are working together, they are making a group and the group activities are to be directed in such a way as it will help in the achievement of organizational goals. Students, let me have our next feature of management. That management is a dynamic function. In order to be successful, an organization must adapt itself to the changing environment. Now the time has gone when whatever companies are manufacturing, they are selling it in the market and consumers are buying the same. But now the time has changed. Now customers would like to buy what they would like to buy and not what companies are manufacturing. So before manufacturing the products, the companies, they have to conduct a research in the market. They have to ask for the preferences, tastes of the people. And only after that, produce the products according to their tastes, their preferences. And only then they will be able to sell the product in the market. And whatever goal they have set in, either for the sales or for the profits, they will be able to achieve only when they are able to sell the products in the market. And now it is very much clear, they will be able to sell the products in the market when the consumers are satisfied. Our next feature of management is, it is an intangible force. Management cannot be touched or seen, but felt or noticed when targets are met. Employees are satisfied and order lines is present. It is only available in the management. We can't see the management. We can't touch the management. But when the business organizations are achieving their targets, as I took the example earlier, if the organization would like to increase its profits from 100% to 150%, so after the one year, if the business organization is actually achieving the target of 150% profits, then certainly we can feel, yes, management is there. If management is selling the products in the market and having a target of increasing the sales from 1 lakh units to 2 lakh units, then certainly the management is there. We can't see or touch the management, but we can feel the management as the business organization has ach achieved its target of 2 lakh units. Students, now we have next feature. Management is multidimensional. It includes three main dimensions. Management of work, management of people, and management of operations. Now management of work. Management translates work in terms of goals to be achieved. And assigns means to achieve it. It means management put the goals on a particular level that may be increasing the production, as I mentioned earlier, from one lakh unit to two lakh unit, or maybe three lakh units. And then management tells that how we can achieve these levels in the future. The second, management of people. It includes dealing with employees as individuals, having diverse needs and behavior, and as a group of people, and make them work towards a common goal. As we all know, in an organization, so many people are working, maybe from the north region, the south region, the west region, the center region. So it's very, very difficult to understand their behavior, but it is only management which will help in understanding the behavior of these people and then direct their activities towards the attainment of common goals. Third, management of operations. An organization has a product or service to offer. Management helps in transforming the input into desired output for consumption. It is a link between management of work and management of people. So we have understood all the features of management. So students, we have finished all the features of management. Now you must be thinking about the nature of management, whether it is a profession, an art, or a science. Now today, we'll study management as a profession. 
Let me ask you one thing. Can a person be a doctor without getting the degree of MBBS? Or a person, a lawyer, without getting the degree of LLB? I know, your answer must be no. Then what do you feel like? A person without getting the degree of MBA can become a manager? For that, we need to understand whether management is a profession or not. Now let me have the features of profession and then we will correlate the features of profession with the management and then we will compare whether management is actually a profession or not. Now the very first feature of profession is systematized body of knowledge. Now specialized body of knowledge. Every profession is a systematized body of knowledge studied in specialized institutions and practiced in real life situations. This is the first feature of profession. Now let we have the management. Management is also having its own slavers, its own principles. The principles derived by Mr. Henry Fio, the father of general management, and by Mr. F. W. Taylor, the father of scientific management. It is studied in specialized institutions like Indian Institute of Management in our country, India. It, these are practiced in real life situations. When the person who have completed the MBA degree from IIMs will come in the market, they will join various multinational companies and whatever theoretical knowledge they have gained in IIMs, now they have to practice the same in these business organizations. So the very first feature of profession is very much present in the management as it is a systematized body of knowledge studied in specialized institutions and practiced in real life situation that this feature is very much present in the management. In our second feature of profession is restricted entry. Every profession has restricted entry means entry in every profession is allowed only after passing the professional examinations of that profession. For example, in order to become a doctor, one has to get MBBS degree. In order to be a lawyer, one has to have LLB degree. Now let me understand this in the context of management. As we have discussed earlier, management doesn't have this particular feature of profession. Because even a person passing out BCom can easily get a job of manager. But EMA, All India Management Association, is working very, very hard in this particular field that only MBAs can become a manager. Now, the third feature of profession is professional association. All professionals are associated to some professional organizations that register itself and provide the license of starting a practice. If we study this in the context of management, we will find no, there is no professional association. But EMA, All India Management Association, yes, it is going to be registered with the government of India and it is working very, very hard in this particular field to make all the managers to be a part of an association. Now next feature of profession is ethical code of conduct. The working of all the professionals is regulated by the professional association. The ethical code of conduct comprising of all the do's and don'ts. Like in case of doctors, what they are not supposed to do and what they have to do is very much clearly stated. But those who are working as managers, nothing is written what is there in their code of conduct. So this feature of profession is not available in management. So now students, after getting all the features of profession, we can compare these features are available in management or not. If we find only first feature is available in the management, but rest are not. So we can't say that management is a full-fledged profession, but EMA is working very hard in making management as a profession. Students, we have just finished the restricted entry as a feature of management. Now our next feature of profession is service motive. Management doesn't have the motive to serve the people. Rather, management aims at 
earning the profits. But if we look at the profession, in profession, we provide service to the best of our knowledge and ability, and we charge fee according to the same. But management, it doesn't provide any fee, but aims at maximizing the profits of the business organizations. So this feature of profession is not available in management. IIMs are providing PG diploma in management. And those who are the pass out of IIMs, they get the job of a manager in various companies, Indian companies as well as multinational companies. So students, in today's episode, we have learned the meaning of management, features of management, and whether management is a profession or not. After studying these three points, you must have understood what management is all about. You must have seen so many companies working very successfully, earning huge amount of profits, shining like stars. So you must be starting one of the company in the future. And for that, we need to continue to our episode number two, in which we shall study management as an art and the functions of management.